Well, parabolas do seem to turn up just about everywhere around the world, and uh, let's have a look at a rather remarkable incident of one in the Sahara Desert. Uh, we're just going to have a look at Morocco now, and uh, if we zoom in on this, you can see that there is a lot of desert there. There's somewhere in there, there's some chance that there is a whole bunch of sand that's been blown into the shape of a parabola. Uh, so this remarkable photograph uh, was found on the web, and uh, you can see that a parabola can be made to fit it absolutely perfectly. So let's see how this is done by starting from scratch. So we'll right click and insert an image and Moroccan sand you. So here it is, just make it a bit bigger. There we go. Uh, double click to make it a bit more transparent. I'll take that off for now because I want to do that. Very good. And let's put that back again. Okay, so we'll move this vertex here so it's pretty much at the origin that's not looking bad and move it around to here. Now this will be a case of uh, x as a function of y squared rather than the other way around and so let's enter an equation and we'll enter x equals k y squared. There we go and that's going to draw like that as expected and we get the constant control around and now decide what we want to do with the value of k. Uh, do we want to make it um, smaller or bigger? And uh, after some discussion, of course, we want it to go this way and to be smaller. So let's take k down in steps of, let's make it steps of 1, down to 0, down to minus 1. That's very good. So reduce the step now and go a bit further. And you can see that it's not a bad fit. I think we probably haven't quite got the vertex in the right place move that down a bit there. Not bad, eh? Just about every grain of sand in the right place. Uh, pretty amazing, and uh, uh, who knows why it happens. It's presumably just a fluke of nature that the wind happens to blow along this valley and just distribute the sand beautifully. Um, let's have a look at this in 3D and see how that actually turns out. I'm going to right-click now, enter the same equation using the history, x equals ky squared, there it goes, and now of course in 3D what we get is a surface, so I'll double click on this and plot it as a 2D equation, that's better. Now I want to make the k here equal to minus 1, so at least it's pretty much the same as the other one. Now to show this at the same time as, the, as this one, what we want to do is first of all get rid of a previous effort of mine which is here, so I'll just do that. So you're left with just two pages. So if you have two pages you can look at the window and tile vertically and you've now got them side by side which is quite nice. So you can see how that in 3D um, whatever you do to a parabola it is still a parabola even if you look at it straight on or at the side. So that's quite a good example of the fact that uh, a parabola is always a parabola, however it is transformed. So there we have it, another quite interesting example of a parabola, this time in the deserts of Morocco.